Hey guys, I'm a little bit puffy. It's like 3 a.m. Okay, it's uber late. You can't see it because I'm on low res. <laughs> have you ever hated Shonen Jump protagonists? Usually they have like a little harem around them of two to three girls that really really like them, but they end up doing nothing with them, and you feel some sort of frustration vented towards them, but you still end up watching the shitty anime anyway. This is how I felt for a lot of anime growing up, a lot of harem anime growing up. They would offer him a kiss and try to get closer, or like bathe with him and he'd do absolutely fuck all. When I knew that the horny boss that I am, I would try something. <laughs> 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 and that's why I didn't like him. I didn't like them. Notable examples can include maybe SAO, Sword Online, um, that one motherfucker trying to live an easy, peaceful life. Watching those anime is like the most boring shit ever. Of course, living that life IRL, like having a peaceful, calming, just a rejuvenating lifestyle, IRL, is amazing where you just get to gaze at the view and drink coffee in the morning and have your wife beside you and then have your kids beside you as well. Not in the weird way, I mean like you, no, no, no. I mean like you grow up, you get to see them grow up and shit. That's, that's wholesome, that's worth living for, right? But if you're watching it as an entertainment show, that's not very entertaining, is it? You want to see the battles, you want to see the fight, you want to see story development, you want to see character development. But what you see is bullshit. You don't see trial and tribulation, you don't see masculine development, you don't see anything that's enticing in the slightest. When you see, like, this is the, this thing with anime, right? Now I'm going to link back to self-improvement, because I always link the shit back to self-improvement. You will watch an individual go through trial and tribulation and become a better individual after it, and become... More accomplished and more confident within themselves. Like Naruto, for example. You've seen him go from a kid who's lonely, his life is shit, he has no parents, he's drinking expired milk. I still remember that when the third Okage went and um, thing, who else? Was it Kakashi? Went into his house and he was like fucking five, ten years old. Or five, five, six, seven, eight years old. And he was drinking expired milk to Hokage. To Hokage. I remember the episode he became Hokage. I was like, fuck man, it's been a while. Like, I've been watching this shit for a while. You will watch someone else. Not even a real thing. Naruto isn't even fucking real. The person who voices Naruto is a woman. <laughs> it's not even a man. <laughs> that is not an insult towards women. It's just... It, 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 that's just solidifying the fact that it's not real. It's, not, it's just pixels on the screen. You understand what I'm saying? It isn't real. But you will, you will spend valuable time watching that shit. Watching that shit. Indulging into that shit. Investing your, your most valuable asset time and your mental energy into someone who's getting, becoming more accomplished, more powerful and more fulfilled with their life than you are. And they're not even fucking real. And that's the wall, that's the wall of anime that I have. Like, God, man. Fuck. So I don't like Shonen Jump for Tragedy. I don't like any of this shit. I, I love Berserk. It's an amazing story. Kentaro Mura died for it. Like, it's, it's a masterpiece, but... I could never read that again. I already read that shit twice. I, I deleted my browser recently. And the browser which I use. <sighs> oh, okay, sorry, man. No, I'm up. I'm up later now recording videos. I deleted the browser that I use in order to um, read manga and manhwa because I realized that none of this shit's worth it to me. And I'm just going to end up regretting it in 10 years time. Like I might, in 10 years time, I'm going to really be grateful to myself, thinking to myself, oh yeah, Jimmy, it's great that you read that one manga one time. No, even Berserk. Like, Berserk, I herald Berserk. Berserk is on top. Or Berserk till I die. You know what I'm saying? But like, motherfucker, man. Berserk, that shit. Like, I, in 10 years time, I will not be happy particularly happy like uh, super ready like it's not hey fucking jeff bezos or some shit cares about berserk no he doesn't give a fuck the video the title of this video is have you ever been frustrated at shonen jump protagonists it's a bit too long 
Have you ever been frustrated at Shonen Jump harem protagonists? Have you ever been afraid of harem protagonists? I think that's a good um, a good title. Yeah, that's a good title. It's because you're li you're watching someone else play out their life that you don't get. Put candle right next to me. I really like candle recently. Why are you blast? Well, oh, 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 this candle just went out. I'm gonna wait for the wax. I got three candles over here. Damn man, I'm with three candles. They all went out by themselves. I'm gonna wait for it to go out and then, yeah, I'm gonna relight them tomorrow. I got four lighters right next to me. I don't. I'm not a smoker. I never smoked my entire life. I did shish shisha, which is stupid of me. Um, because it wasn't even that good. It was so mediocre, guys. It was literally Ooh, bubbles, bubbles. Like what the fuck, man. Um, yeah, I like candles a lot. I like incense. Calm me. I mean, I'm much more calm these days. Trying to think about what I could do at the moment instead of just worrying about the past. I mean, I'm mad about stupid shit recently, like chess. Like, I don't know if it's chess, but chess, like, it, it signifies triumph in my life. And this anime shit, like, I tried to watch anime recently. It's just not working. It's just not working at all. I watched Mob Psycho recently. I watched the first six episodes, and it was a pretty good story. That story was good with, um, what was the name again? Ekbo. Uh, Pimblet? No, that's Paddy Pimblet from the UFC. My mind is a thing. Ekbo. I know, I know his Japanese name. Ekbo. That green motherfucker man who ended up going gold. Super Saiyan. You gotta just kept the Super Saiyan powers. Smart move from him. It, it became really creepy at the end. But, um. I watched the last episode and he got rejected uh, by that girl and I was just thinking to myself oh, I don't see you like that yet I was thinking to myself this, she's fucking another dude she's gonna get married to another dude not mob and mob she's gonna have cheating on mob that's the way it goes and mob's gonna like probably use his psychic powers and destroy everything some shit that story does not have a happy ending I swear to god season 2 might have a happy ending but season 3 when they're a bit older going to college and shit when, like, I'm fucking 25 and they're still going to anime. That's crazy. How come animes have, like, five-hour gaps? I don't understand. Anyways, when that shit ends, it's not going to have a happy ending. I swear to God. They might force a happy ending. Like, yay, he gets married to his girl. But you know how that shit runs in real life. Come on, man. He's a soy boy. Can't even express his emotions. He gets nervous around his crush. Come on, man. I just... I get frustrated at these people because honestly they're weak and they remind me of myself in the past. I see that. I see. I see myself in them. And I guess there's a lot of people as well. I'm not special in this sense. No one is special in this sense. We're all somewhat similar within our experiences and circumstances. It's just weird to me. Like, like football. Like I remember watching football. Like. Thing wrong, but I might make this a separate video where I delve deeper into the topic. But like, you will. I remember this comment a while back. You will be shouting unhappy and fat and ugly and broke with your fat, ugly wife surrounded by other fat, ugly people that talk like, You want to go to the. You want to watch the footy tonight, lads? Go to the, you want to go to the pub tonight, lads? Drink, some, drink a pint of Guinness or some bullshit like that. You will surround yourself with people like that, and you will watch people that are fit, young, incredibly young, like Saka's like 19, 20, or just fresh 20. When he was 17, it was crazy. I remember a kid, like he's my age, 17, and he's playing football, and he's already worth like fucking 400k net worth. I think to myself, what the fuck? Obviously, I'm not seeing like the four, four to five years of um, in the behind the scenes grinding, but still like. That's, that's a what-the-fuck moment, you know what I'm saying? A lot of people see this and they glorify the event, not the process. Which is stupid. You should glorify the process, not the event. The event is just a natural byproduct of the process. For example, if you're grinding on entrepreneurship and business for five years or something completely correct, like some bullshit business, like some cupcake business or some cafe in a quaint neighborhood, 
that's bullshit. Because that cafe is probably going to end up closing down anyway. That cafe fails. Or that cafe is successful, but then it destroys the owner's life. From what I've seen. Like, the owner that ends up getting consumed by the cafe. That cafe becomes a child of the owner. But they actually have no real children. Or some shit. And, of course, you make good money. But then you... you your time is still traded for money. Which is not the point of business. Anyways, that's um, a separate point. Let's move on. I'm going to make that in a separate video. For you guys to consume anime bro i gotta watch that shit <laughs> i'm just speaking on top of my head it's not good because i don't have any coherent thought coming through anime living a life yeah football you you will watch someone who's fit young rich living in a like who lives in a millionaire mansion and will sleep with an underwear model but you will be a fat ugly broke guy around fat ugly broke people and you will be condemned to this lifestyle. I don't support football. I don't support anime. I don't support entertainment. All the content I consume is ideally. It's literally 99% educational. And 1% entertainment. I turned off thumbnails on my YouTube recently. And it's been like so much more productive. I instinctively click on YouTube. But these days, it's not, not the, not what's happening. You watch my YouTube time. Today was eleven minutes. Eleven minutes. You can see that. You can see that. You can see that that happened like this. Last week, it was all eleven minutes, and one day I spiked up because I was listening to MJ DeMarco, who's the author of the Millionaire Fast Lane. But the rest of that is just fifteen minutes. I actually turned it to fifteen minutes, and then that's that was my time for a while. But I'm pretty loyal to this. <laughs> I was doing 10 minutes before. Then I went up to an hour and a half. Which felt wrong. So I immediately just shut it down. 22 minutes daily average. On the YouTube app. Which is like. My daily average is actually much lower. My 42% down from this week. I don't watch YouTube on my phone. I don't watch YouTube on my computer as much. I'm watching a video right now on how this guy made a bunch of money. But he's 30. I, I keep comparing myself to these people. It's so annoying. Like It's instinctive. You know what I'm saying? Like When your parents compare you when you're young to other uh, to your other kids. Like, oh, look at your sibling. He do so good in school. He, he's doing so good in school. And look at little Timmy over there. He's your cousin. And he's, he's so smart. He's doing good in school. And... 10 years later, what the fuck, the fuck is Timmy doing? He's got a job he hates. He followed the script. And now he's doing something fucking mediocre. Compare, compare, compare. Like, they think it's like it's a double-edged sword, you know what I'm saying? Either the kid gets so motivated that he actually destroys the competition, which is what I have done a little bit. Like, it's what I've done a little bit. Like, my mom literally can't compare me to other kids anymore. How's she compare me to other kids my age? You can't. There's an exponential gap between us. Which type of 17 year old kid starts his own business and makes a profit? It's all his first business and he made a profit with his own money. What type of kid does that? No fucking kid does that. Alright? What type of kid thinks about business? What type of kid thinks about death? This is another video I want to talk uh, Another topic I want to talk about. About fear of death makes you work harder. What type of kid does that? No type of kid fucking does that. Every other 70 year old kid that's in my family, you cannot compare me with them. Obviously, they might be well in school. What the fuck are they going to do after school? What are they going to do after school? They're going to be shitters. They're going to want jobs they hate. They're all going to be shit. Alright? If you're frustrated at all this entertainment, shonen at jump, all this shit, because they're just bullshit, weak, pussy, soy boys, good. Very good. You have two choices here. Two choices. The blue pill or the red pill. Classic Matrix, right? Blue pill. You can keep watching the anime. You can keep watching the entertainment. The minus entertainment. And you stay mediocre. You just stay where, exactly where you are. Maybe get a job. Get a bit of money going. That's it. Or you can take the red pill. You drop all of it. You drop all of it. There is no slow, conscious effort to, to drop it. No, you drop all of it. And just one day, I just don't like anime anymore. 
You just don't like anime anymore. You drop all of it. It's already fifth, past 15 minutes. Damn it! I don't know if I can pause this video. Uh, you drop all of it and you dedicate yourself to some improvement. Fitness, finance. Pretty good. And relationships. Right? No more waifu, husband or bullshit. None of this shit. Real relationships with real people. Live in the real world. That's how it should be. I'm gonna go to another video topic now. Sayonara.